Well, good evening, and welcome to the February presentation of the How You Diet webinar. We're excited to have you with us this evening, and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. Hope the start of the new year has been uh, successful and healthy for you. I'm Paul Malcolms, president of How You Diet. And uh, we have an exciting program for you this evening with uh, Dr. Donaldson sharing some new research. Um, we'll, we can't wait to get started, but before we do, just want to do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, first is during the um, presentation, if you have any questions that you um, want to ask or feedback, if you'll type it in the left-hand corner of your um, panel there, and we'll be seeing those and collecting the questions and having a question and answer session. Um, toward the end of the presentation. I'd like to open with a word of prayer and um, ask the Lord to bless our time this evening. Dear Lord, we just thank you for this uh, time that we can get together and share this information. We pray that you'll be with Dr. Donaldson as you present this evening and, and help us to have the ears to hear. We pray that everything runs smoothly with technology and that um, we're able to have a, a great session this evening. Thank you for Jesus and for this opportunity in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, um, we'll get right to introducing Dr. Donaldson. Um, you know, he's an in, uh, invaluable asset to the science behind the Howie diet. He's a chemical engineer graduate of Cornell University who has been the research director of the Howie diet since 1998. It's hard to believe it's been that long, Michael, but um, it's, it's incredible. Um, his work consists of designing and, and coordinating studies based on symptoms or diseases that focus on the results of the Howie diet. He is the author of research studies that highlight the benefits of adopting a plant-based diet. Dr. Donaldson's research is ongoing, and he plays a vital role in new product development and innovations, which brings us to this evening, evening's presentation. Thank you, Dr. Donaldson, for joining us, and we really look forward to the information that you have to share this evening. All right, thank you, Paul, for the introduction here. Now, as we start here today, I want to take a little bit of inventory as we talk about starting and helping you elevate your self-healing to a new, higher level here. So let's take a look at, at our nation here. As a society, how are we doing? If we look at obesity rates, we know that there's about 38% of the population that's actually obese at this point. Now, if you add all the obese people and the overweight people all together, there's only about 29% of the people that are actually normal weight. So that's, that's a very small number. Less than one out of three is actually normal weight at this point. So on average, we're actually kind of fat in America. Now, if we look at prescription drug use. Now, how many of us actually use prescription drugs? Back in 2014, a survey was done, and they found that 49% of the people had used a prescription drug in the last 30 days. And there was 23% of people that used more than three in the last 30 days. And five people using five drugs or more in the last 30 days was still 12%. So one of every eight people, and it tends to be in the elderly, there's, there's a lot more prescription drugs. They use a lot of them here. So prescriptions written was like 3.2 billion prescriptions written. You go to the doctor three quarters of the time for every office visit, you get some kind of prescription for a medication. And typical ones are for painkillers, cholesterol-lowering medications, and believe it or not, antidepressants. Those are the three most commonly given uh, drugs out there. So we use a lot of prescription drugs. What about heart disease? Heart disease, you know, is the number one killer in America. Over 600,000 people die every year of heart disease. 28% of the adults in America have been diagnosed with heart disease as well. So you know, people are walking around with it you know, more than a quarter of the population. So we think that's pretty normal. You know, bypass surgeries are very common among, you know, men as they get older. It's very, very common. How about cancer? Cancer is the number two killer in America, and it's just a shade under heart disease, believe it or not, less than 25,000 deaths between those two numbers. So between them, 1.2 million people die every year of heart disease and cancer. So we think that's pretty normal. There's 1.6 million new cases of cancer every year. And one of four deaths in America is, is due to cancer. That's a lot. Really, that's a lot. What about diabetes? We look at the statistics for diabetes. We find about 9% of the population, 30 million people, have diabetes in America. That doesn't tell you the whole story because it, it changes by age. Adults that are 
age 18 to 44, they only have about 4% of them have diabetes. But as you go up in age, age 45 to 65, 17% of this group has diabetes too. So that's one of six, you know, middle-aged Americans with diabetes. So that's, that's an astounding number of diabetics. Mental illness. This is more, more common in recent years, I think. But they say that there's about 45 million Americans that have any kind of mental illness. And of those, over 10 million of them have a serious mental illness. So this is rampant. There's a lot of people sick. So if you look at all these things, you know, obesity, looking at heart disease, cancer, diabetes, mental illness, you look at dementia, every way you look, every way we measure, we come to the same conclusion that as a nation, we're failing. We're failing. Our health is not good as a nation here, as a society. And we could really do much, much better. Well, that's society as a whole, but how about you? How are you doing? How's your body size? And there's a couple different ways we can measure it. One, we can measure it with the body mass index, or we could look at waist circumference. That's a little bit easier. You need a chart or a calculator or something for the body mass index. But just grab a tape measure and wrap it around yourself. See what it says. For women, if you have you know, greater than 35 inches, that's dangerous there. Men, if it's over 40 inches, that's dangerous for you. So just grab a tape measure and take a look. Answer that question for yourself. Do you have a, a waist size that's safe, or are you accumulating fat around the middle here? Because, you know, that fat around the middle means you have fat around your organs, your, your critical organs of your body. So you used to think that fat was actually kind of just inert. It was padding. You know, you fell over, you want to hurt yourself. But we know it's much more than that. It's very active as a hormone-secreting organ. See, it puts out dipokines, those signaling hormones and proteins that signal the rest of the metabolism how it ought to function. And when, you're, when you get fat, it really doesn't just put them out, it actually messes up your whole metabolism. It contributes to your chronic inflammation. It contributes to your heart disease and your diabetes. It contributes to your dementia. So we have a lot of trouble collecting fat around the middle in America. So if you're one of those, you need to pay attention here. But tonight, imagine for me with a minute, imagine if you could speed up self-healing. Just think. What if you could, in a sense, become younger? You could slow down the disease process. In fact, you could reverse disease processes, slow down aging. What would that be like? What could you do with some more energy? What would you like to feel young again? Instead of just dealing with symptoms, you could actually deal with root causes. You could get faster and deeper changes in you. You could even be rejuvenated. Rejuvenate, that word actually means to make young again. So you could experience that. Imagine what it would be like if you could experience that. Here at Hallelujah Acres, we have experienced that. People are adopting the Hallelujah Diet. You know, it, it has worked wonders for many, many people. They've, they've seen many things go away. They've seen many people reclaim their health from all those diseases that I've mentioned. But tonight, I want to show you something even more that can make even the best diet better. It can take a poor diet and make it improve it. Take even the best diet and make it even better. So today here, I want to introduce you to the perfect cleanse. Now, we're kind of familiar with cleanses because there's cleanses all over the place. There's you know, a seven-day detox cleanse. There are liver cleanses. There's juice cleanses. There's um, kidney cleanses. There's master cleanses. There's all kinds of cleanses being sold out there. What's unique about the perfect cleanse is that we've actually done some of the science behind it. We've looked at it. We've figured out what are the keys to making it work. So we've gone through and, and we've looked and seen, well, this is how it works, so this is how to, to put this together to get the most benefit out of it. The first part here is autophagy, or autophagy. This is self-eating. Now, this is, this is pretty amazing stuff, actually. In 2016, a Japanese scientist, Yoshinori Oshumi, at the Tokyo Institute of Technology, he won the Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology for his work on autophagy. So it is a big deal. It's a real science. Autophagy is actually just a natural process of recycling. Recycling parts of cells, detoxifying bacteria and viruses that get laid up in cells, and getting rid of it, recycling for parts and energy. See, when a cell is not getting a lot of energy coming in, such as when you're fasting or have a low, low calorie intake, it looks around for energy because it still needs energy. It still needs parts because it's still functioning full speed. 
In order for it to do that, it has to look around. And it starts with the damaged cells, damaged organ parts, and recycles those, things that aren't working right anymore, diseased ones, you know, the bacteria and virus laying around. It will chew those up and use them for energy and for cell parts. So we take advantage of that in the perfect cleanse. The second part of this is with stem cell release. See, as you're fasting and cleansing, your body actually gets a little bit smaller. Not only do you lose a little bit of fat, but your organs, your critical organs, actually get smaller too. And when you start eating again, your body puts out a release of stem cells. Believe it or not, stem cells, they go out and replenish the organs to full size. So not only are you taking out the trash, you're actually rebuilding with new cells that are healthier than cells that were there before. So it's kind of like a remodel of your bathroom in your kitchen. You're not just cleaning the floor and cleaning the mirrors and taking out the trash. You're replacing things that aren't working, you know, leaky faucets, drains that are plugged, you clean all those out. You know, implements that aren't working right, you change those. So that's what you can do with the perfect cleanse. And we've looked at it and said, well, how does this work? How can we make the most of the cube? You know, we looked at that, how we're doing as a nation here, and we do need some changes here. Because if you always do what you've always done, then you're always going to get what you've always got. And Reverend Malcolm has said this many times. You need to pay attention. You need to change programming. The aging is the, is the major risk factor for every disease. So as you get older, it's likely to get worse. Your health is likely to get much worse as you get older. So if it's kind of borderline now, you need to pay attention and make changes here. That's the concept of the perfect cleanse I told you about with autophagy and the stem cell release. This is what it looks like. So you're going to drink five drinks. This is all you need for five days. These five drinks based on Barley Max, Carrot Juice Max, Advanced Superfood Trio Max, and then it has the base of B Flex D, Mod Carbon Avocado, and then Fiber Cleanse with it. You're going to do this um, for five days the first month. Second month, you do it again for five days. Third month, you do it again for five more days. And then after that, as you reach a level of optimal health, then you slow down and you don't do it frequently. So that's how it works in concept and in practice here. ModCarb is a new product here. You haven't heard of this before. There's a new product we're introducing with this program here. This is a, a very finely milled powder made from six grains. So it comes from oats, amaranth, buckwheat, chia seeds, quinoa, and millet. Those six grains there, and it's very finely milled. It very, makes a silky smooth powder and a drink. It makes the drink very good, and it gives you very a sustained release of energy. So while you're taking this, you know, it evens things out so you can keep going. You might think, well, how am I going to survive on five drinks a day? Well, it works. It really does work. You're getting enough to keep going all the way through this, and we'll explain more how it works as we go here. But there's some keys to making this work here. You need to understand these and get confidence in what you're doing here. Because you look at this, well, this is low protein here. Is that okay? And the first key is that, is that it really is low protein. You see, most people have IGF-1 levels. It works as a, as a growth hormone. It works along with, with growth hormone, in fact. And it causes the body to store and build. So this growth hormone, the IGF-1, that that's going to cause your body to store more, and high levels of it actually are associated with higher risk of cancer. So you actually want to lower these levels, and the low-protein cleanse will do that. In fact, in a study with people, after three sessions of the cleanses over a three-month period, the finishing levels of IGF-1 were substantially lower than the beginning levels. The second key to, the, to making this work is that fat is the main source of calories here. It's not the only source, but about 50% of the calories come from fat. Now, in our case, this is coming from flaxseed and avocados. These are whole foods, so you're getting all the nutrients that come with the fat as well. It's not just a, an empty, refined fat. Third key is it's moderate in carbohydrate. It's not so much carbohydrate that it's going to throw you out of ketosis here. So the, the cleanse is still going to work very well. There's no added sugar with it. Fourth key is that this cleanse is very high in fiber. So you need the fiber because your body's cleansing. It's putting toxins out into the blood get filtered by the liver, the liver puts out to the gallbladder, through the gall. And so if you don't have fiber in there, that those toxins aren't going to get reabsorbed. And you don't want to do that. If you have fiber in your system, they'll bind to the fiber and, and your body will carry them out. So you can get rid of the toxins instead of reabsorbing them. So that's important. So what we have here with the perfect cleanse 
you have a high nutrient, low calorie cleanse. It's about 800 calories a day. But you're getting almost all the nutrition. In fact, for most people on the American diet, you're going to actually get better nutrition through these five drinks a day than most people get every day on a regular basis. And the high nutrition is important because you need to build new cells. Those stem cells that you're going to make need that nutrition so they're as healthy as possible. Because in order to improve your health, you need better cells than the cells you currently have. You're not just maintaining, you're improving here. So this is what it looks like on a regular basis here. So the schedule looks like this. The first drink, you wake up, you can have some extra water in the morning if you want, that's fine. And if, you're, if you want more water through the day, that's fine as well. But you're going to take a couple glasses of a couple cups of water, almost two cups. Put two and a half tablespoons of barley max in it, and then add a tablespoon each of the B-flex D, the mod carb, and take a third of an avocado. That's of a, of a small avocado. Take about a third of that, and blend it in with your drink there. Blend it all together. If you want, you can eat the avocado separately. Sometimes it's even for a variety of things. You can do sometimes this way, sometimes separate. Blend it in. Well, the avocados are really uh, nice and creamy. They work great in there. Sometimes they don't work so good if they're not just in the right consistency. So you can do it either way. You can eat the avocado separate or with it, but you do want the avocado. The second drink was with carrot juice max, one and a half tablespoons of that. The first drink, that's a lot of barley max all at once. All at once. Most people handle that just fine, really. But it's, you know, it's a lot. One and a half tablespoons of carrot juice max. Third drink is with advanced superfood, two tablespoons of that. So that's like a double serving. So you're getting variety here. It's not the same drink all the way through here. And then you finish the day with two drinks of the trio max. This includes a little bit of barley max along with the carrot juice max and a bit of beet max too. So you're getting beets that help the liver cleanse. And every time you're getting through this base of beet flax tea and mod carb. So that's what it looks like here. If we look at the nutrition side of it here, we look at the protein intake. Overall, it's about 24 grams per day here. So it's about 12% of your calories. You know, a lot of it comes to beef flax speed. There's a little bit everywhere. Barley max has 4.5 grams all the way down. You don't want this too high. This is about as low as we could get it with a whole food program here. And if we get lower, that, that's fine as well. Fat intake here is about half of your calories here. Yeah, from the beef flax tea and the avocado. If you try to do this cleanse without the flax and the avocado, um, you're going to be hurting. You won't have the energy that you need to make it through the day. So you need to include those ingredients with it here. Carbohydrate, as I mentioned, no added sugars with it. You know, some carbohydrate all the way through. This includes 29 grams of dietary fiber with it here. So that's the fiber you need, along with the fiber cleanse to make this work well. And the calories, 50 to 60 calories with the, the different juice powders. And then the beef flax tea and the avocado contribute quite a bit of your calories there, about 500 of the 800 altogether. So that's enough to keep you going, actually. Can you, can you survive on five days like that? Well, you actually do really well. You know, I've done this a couple times. My wife has done it. And, yeah, you have energy to go about your normal day with, without trouble. You get a little bit hungry, you know, an hour and a half, and it's about ready to have another drink. And you get hungry again, it's about time to have another drink there, so you wake it through the day just fine. And you can have herbal tea with this if you want, a little extra water to make it through as well. So what are your other options for doing something like this, if you want to cleanse? Well, you could do a mail-order juice cleanse, and you know companies will send you a, a juice in a bottle for one, two, three, five days of cleansing. You take your pick. The advantage of this is that it is it's convenient. The disadvantage of this is that they don't take advantage of the fasting mimicking diet like the perfect cleanse does. So you're not going to get the benefits of autophagy and the stem cell release because they haven't really studied that. They're just selling what's popular. Oh, and by the way, it costs about three times as much as the perfect cleanse as well. So you're not going to get the results and you pay a lot more for it. You can do intermittent fasting, and that's something like a 5-2 diet, just fasting one or two days, you know, one day at a time, a couple times a week. Uh, there's some benefits to the small fast like that, but they're not as good as a periodic fast. The periodic fasting goes for longer, and it takes more than one day for the fasting really to kick in. For the magic of rejuvenation, you need more than two days. By the third day, fourth, fifth day, the autophagy is really kicking in. You're really cleaning house very well, and you're coming along. So when you, when you start eating again, your body is really ready to release some stem cells. And you don't get that effect with intermittent fasting. 
You could do water fasting. That's another option. Uh, I don't really recommend it because you have to slow way down to do water fasting. It's harder on the body, and it takes longer for you to recover as well. With a perfect cleanse, you keep going. You can do your daily tasks while you're doing your cleansing. And when you start eating again, you just your, your trajectory is still upwards. You don't have to go backwards at all trying to recover from fasting. Or you could do no cleanse at all. And until I understood the advantages of autophagy and the stem cell release, I didn't really want to do a cleanse either. But now I don't see that as a viable option. Really, I want to do some kind of cleanse a couple times a year using this perfect cleanse because I want that rejuvenation effect. But you could decide to do no cleanse, and if you don't make a decision, that is a decision. You know, those things happen. Just don't let it happen to you. So let's look at some evidence now, evidence of how this works. See, our research that we've put together with Perfect Cleanse is based on the work of Walter Longo. He's the director of the Longevity Institute at USC. And his group, research group, has done a lot of work on diabetes, cancer, and multiple sclerosis kind of, kind of work, looking at a diet that mimics fasting. So you get the effects of fasting without being as harsh on the animals or on people either, for that matter. So they've looked at diabetes. They've looked at uh, severe type 1 and type 2 diabetes, go through cycles. <coughs> they go through cycles of fasting and refeeding, and they find that the, the mice make a very good recovery. In fact, <coughs> their beta cells are regenerated. The cells that produce insulin are regenerated in their isolate of the pancreas. And when they looked at the genetic level, they found amazing things here. They found that there is developmental genes no, that are normally turned on only during embryonic stage of development. Those genes are actually turned on as a result of fasting and repeating here. So that's like, that, that's really amazing results here. When they did it with isolate cells from humans, they take those from diabetics and they put those in cultures and go through fasting and repeating. They were able to make insulin again in those cells. And that's really amazing too. You know, type 1 diabetic cells, they're able to regenerate beta cells that make insulin. And they found the same kind of genetic developmental genes turned on in these cells. So what they're getting really, if you think about this, you're getting regeneration by stem cell therapy here. Naturally, just by fasting and refeeding. This is the goal of stem cell therapy all the time. And here you're actually doing it naturally. That's, that's really incredible here. So there's good hope for diabetes, and more research is being done with that with people. So stay tuned with that. With cancer, there's done work with mice, and they found that when you give mice either like a breast cancer or melanoma, and you combine that with chemotherapy, at the end of the fasting, you include some, some chemotherapy there. The mice respond much better. The tumors uh, are reduced much further than if you do just the chemotherapy or just the fasting. And it, it has to do with differential stress sensitization. See, normal cells, they can handle the stress of fasting, and you add chemotherapy, most of them still do okay. You take a cancer cell and you fast it, it's under quite a bit of stress. And then you add chemotherapy to it, and that's just it. It goes toes up. So a lot of those cells are actually killed in the process. When they gave mice uh, a melanoma and then fasted them, they found that they're able to resist the chemotherapy, strong chemotherapy. 60% of the fasting mice actually survived, whereas in the control group, none of them survived. They either died of the chemotherapy or of metastasis of the melanoma in that study here. So, you know, fasting, again, was very protective of the mice. There's another strain of mice that just genetically is prone to lymphomas as they age. When the mice went through cycles of fasting, repeating, fasting, repeating, they were protected from that. The lymphomas showed up later in their life. They were smaller, and there weren't as many of them. So again, good evidence that this helps with the cancer process. And it helps with the immune system. It actually changes some of the genes within the cancer as well. So good things going on there. In the terms of autoimmune diseases, you know, they've used multiple, multiple sclerosis as a model there. And they found that they were able to use stem cell regeneration and find nerve growth even in old mice. And they were able to reverse multiple sclerosis actually in mice as well. 
And they found in this group of mice, when they did the fasting and refeeding, the fasting mimicking diet, they were able to reverse the multiple sclerosis. 20% of the mice actually had no more symptoms left, and they all got somewhat better. 20% of them were all better. So what they find is that the, the autophagy gets rid of some of the white blood cells that are attacking the nervous system, and it protects the cells of the nervous system as well, protects them and helps them uh, mature and keeps them from dying as, as quickly here. So some very good evidence from fasting and refeeding, just like this. So you can use a diet that's low in calories, low in protein, low in added sugar. It has fat as its main, as its main uh, energy source and get very good results with animals. We asked, does it work in people? And so Walter Long was taking his research group and he's looked in people too. So a trial of 100 people, they had a crossover of the control group. So by the end, 71 people went through it. And there's substantial weight loss in the whole group. So there's a significant decrease in total body weight in total body fat as well, but not lean mass. Lean mass wasn't a significant change. You kept your lean mass, which you wanted to. Trunk fat was decreased. Body mass, in de in, uh, body mass index was decreased. Waist circumference was decreased as well. And blood pressure dropped. They found people that had the greatest um, abnormal numbers, they had high weight, they were overweight, they found they had the greatest results. Uh, people that had high fasting blood sugar levels, those tended to normalize. People at high levels of inflammation, as judged by T-reactive protein, those tend to normalize too. People with the highest levels of IGF-1, like insulin-like growth factor, they drop down to more normal levels too. Hypertension, LA cholesterol decrease as well. So it's working. These people did for just three months, just doing what we're telling you to do. Three months, five days a month of a cleanse. So they didn't use the perfect cleanse because it didn't exist, but they used something very similar to that through uh, a company with Walter Longo. So that's what is possible. That's possible. With cleansing, with using a healthy diet, you can get better. So imagine with me now. Imagine what the world would look like without sickness. There wouldn't be obesity, would there? There would just be healthy, glowing people, beautiful, radiant people. There wouldn't be cancer, at least very little cancer, just rare cancers, maybe a twentieth or a hundredth of what we have now. And when cancer did show up, it would be treated with means that boost the immune system, help the immune system deal naturally with the, with the tumor. That the means would support natural healing. There wouldn't be any heart disease anymore, no high blood pressure. There wouldn't be any more open heart surgery, you know, cutting people open in the sternum, ripping that open and, and tying it together with wires. You wouldn't have to do that anymore. Not that you wouldn't know how, but you wouldn't need to. No more diabetes. No more elevated blood sugars like that. No amputations. No one would lose their eyesight due to diabetes. There wouldn't be any more autoimmune disorders. No more type 1 diabetes. No rheumatoid arthritis. No systemic lupus. No ulcerative colitis. No Crohn's disease. No more of the hundreds of other autoimmune diseases that exist. There wouldn't be any dementia either. No more Parkinson's disease. No more Alzheimer's. People would remain sharp as a tack for as long as they live. In this world without sickness, there wouldn't be more mental illness. There wouldn't be depression, panic attacks. There wouldn't be suicides due just to health-related causes. Our children would be healthy, too. They wouldn't have ADHD. They wouldn't have autism or learning disability. They'd be, you know, they would be healthy. So instead of spending a fifth of our economy on health care and symptom management, disease management, we could spend on new innovations. New exploration. Just imagine what we could do if we changed all of that that goes into healthcare into something actually prosperous. Instead of losing our minds as we age, the wisdom of the elderly, elderly would be passed on to their children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. Instead of lives being cut off, you probably know some, someone that died prematurely. Their life was cut off. They weren't able to live out the vision that God had given to them. Well, that wouldn't happen anymore. People would be able to live out the vision and complete what God had given them to do. So our children wouldn't be on Ritalin. They wouldn't be on antidepressants and allergy medicine. They'd be happy, learning, engaged, bright, cheerful, ready and preparing for a new future ahead of them. And why not? What's impossible for our children in a place where there's no more sickness? Sounds like a pipe dream? Sounds like it's impossible to you? It's not. It's not impossible. 
Imagine your world without sickness now. What would you look like? What would you be like? What would you do with the energy, that time, those resources, if you didn't have sickness in your life? For me, I already have. See, I began more than 20 years ago. Look over here. There's a plaque here. Way back 20 years ago, I started out investigating the Halley Acres diet. Looking at that, and I haven't stopped. I'm still going forward. We're still finding new things, and we keep imagining our world without sickness. Things we didn't know then, we keep finding more and more. And you can, too. You can imagine your world without sickness and make it go away. Do I ever get sick? Well, actually, I got the flu this year. You know, that nasty strain? You know, so I had a fever a couple of days, lost my voice one Sunday, couldn't sing. But drank more vegetable juice, took vitamin C, some liposomal vitamin C. You know, got better. That was it. Even during acute illness, should it happen, I have confidence in God's design of self-healing. You know, I'll take that small imperfection of sickness. It's not a perfect world. It's not perfect. But if that's as bad as it gets, that's not bad. If that's it. You know, I'm not afraid of that list. You know, that list doesn't hold power over me. I'm not worried about that. And it gets better as we do cleansing with perfect cleanse now, a natural living and eating. It gets better. It gets better and better. Some of you have already done this. Some of you need to do this. Some of you need to transform your world. Where do you start? Where do you start? You know, before Microsoft Windows existed, computers were very difficult to work with. Now, people didn't know where to start. All you had was a C prompt. I don't know if you remember that or not, but there's just a blinking cursor. No instructions, just a blinking cursor. And it was confusing. One of the brilliant things that Microsoft did was give you a start button. When you press that button and open up all the different options, and you can go make your way through the graphical interface, and you could get things done. Brilliant. Tonight, the perfect cleanse is our starting point. Start here. Start with the perfect cleanse. It's simple. It's powerful. We've worked hard to make it doable for ordinary people. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be really disciplined to make it work. It'll work for anyone that applies it. So you start right there. Begin your journey. Open yourself up to a new world of health. And take your self-healing to a new, higher level. See, the perfect cleanse is a good place to start. It's also a good way to reboot. Just like a computer operating system gets full of junk over time, or a phone system gets junk, it helps to reboot it every now and then. And it cleans it up. So your body needs to reboot too. Just like you change the oil in your car, you need to change and get that rejuvenation yourself. Get rid of the junk through autophagy and get that burst of stem cells to rejuvenate you. So that's where to start. Keep on going. You can do it. It's easy. Just three steps. Order the perfect cleanse. Buy your avocados. Need two a day to make it work. And get ready to go. Find five days you can do this. And start. Don't delay. Just go ahead. Order it now. Dr. Donald, that's that's really, really great um, introduction into the perfect cleanse. Uh, could could you highlight how, you know, somebody would do this? Do they eat food with it? Um, is it five um, juices or drinks per day for five days? Just just want to make it's sure it's five clear, juices. you know, Yes, it's just the five juices for five days. That's what you're eating. That is your food for those five days. That's all you need for those days. So those days, you know, don't go shopping. That's your food. You don't have to buy any other groceries for those days. Except you need, you do need your two avocados for each for each day there. So for those five days of fasting, you know, ten avocados. That's it. That's your grocery list. And and you know, you did a lot of research. Um, comparing it to other cleanses, um, what are some of the benefits of the cleanse that you put together here as opposed to some of the other ones that you that you did research on? A lot of what we're looking at is juice cleanses. That's kind of what we're familiar with in many ways. But a juice cleanse, I mean, you're transporting a lot of liquid around the country or you're, you're busy making the juice yourself, and it's, it's a lot of work to do it that way. And you're not getting the fiber along with it here. You you need that fiber to really make it work well. Uh, the other thing that juice cleanses have, um, they're using a lot of juice. You end up getting your calories from someplace. 
And if you're getting them from juice, you're probably going to get them from fruit someplace there. And it's going to be too high in sugar to really do very well. You, you want about half your calories here from your 800 or so that you need. You want about half of those coming from fat. And you just don't find those in a juice cleanse. And uh, with the with the package here, um, how many cleanses or days of cleansing is is included for with this package? This package is everything you need for 15 full days of cleansing here. So you don't need anything else there. It's just those those that's it. It will do you for three months of cleansing there. So it gets you off to a good start. Do you know, okay, this is really working or not? So you literally can take this this um, 280 or this, you know, if you get it right now, $210. That replaces 15 days of groceries right there. That's a pretty good deal. <laughs> Especially if you consider the, the organic nature of these, you know, everything in here. This is very high quality stuff that we have here. Um, and and could you um, repeat the definition of um, auto, autography? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not saying that right. Sure, yeah, autophagy. It looks like autophagy, and it looks like, well, that's, that's the only way to say it, but that's not quite the way you say it, I guess. It's the natural process of recycling parts of cells and detoxification of bacteria and viruses within cells. So it's a recycling process, really, and getting rid of the damaged, malfunctioning organelles and diseased cells. And um, with the um, kit, um, is there some kind of uh, directions? Yeah, there will be a, a sheet that comes along with it, kind of describing, you know, the, the schedule of how to take it, you know, how to mix up the juices and so on and, and go from there. So there's, there's everything you need there. If you have more questions, you should check out the website perfectcleanse.com, and it may answer your question there as well. And if you can't find the answer there, you know, customer service is, is great, and they're willing to help you as well. But the instruction sheet's right with the program, so it's all included together there. Would, um, would there be any um, benefits or any harm in doing the perfect cleanse longer than the five days of time? Um, there may not be a need to do that. It's better to cycle it back and forth. It's the cycling. It's the the fasting, getting the autophagy going, and then refeeding. The refeeding boosts the stem cells. So it's the cycling back and forth that's actually really beneficial, not just going for 10 or 15 days and then starting to eat again. There may be some benefits to doing it longer. Originally, I did it for 10 days the first time around as a prototype. And I figured out, well, maybe maybe that's a little bit overkill. It's the five days on on the, the cleanse and then refeeding and then a month doing it again later, the five days on the cleanse and then refeeding again. Then you get two boosts of stem cells rather than just one. Um you, what are your thoughts on a substitute for the coke or for the avocado? There are things that work well for that. That's, that's a question. Not everyone likes avocado. Coconut meat itself actually works quite well. Believe it or not, the coconut meat and the avocado have a very similar carbohydrate, fat, and protein ratio. They're very similar. So instead of using a third of an avocado, you use a small piece of, of coconut. It works out to 16 grams, actually, of coconut. So actually, I have looked at that and see what we can do. Because when, when Anne and I did it last week, we actually ran out of good avocados. We have it. Uh, coconut along just in case. So I did the research and figured out, yeah, I could do 16 grams of avocado in place of my third, uh, 16 grams of coconut meat in place of avocado. But don't try to blend it up. I think you just have to chew it. It doesn't blend all that well. It's going to be pretty chunky. Um, and could someone do this directly after doing an extended water fast? I would eat for a little bit first before doing that, I think. You know, use a, a regular, do the how you diet for a while. Right off a of water fast, you need to recover a little bit. The benefits of doing this compared to a water fast is that you're, there's no really trying to recover phase. 
you go right back and you don't lose all your energy that you lost during water fast. A water fast is more debilitating. This doesn't really debilitate you. This feeds you all the way through. So when you start eating full strength again, you're, you're going gangbusters. You're not just trying to recover. You're going full strength. Um, do you think the cleanse would help remove heavy metals? It's not specifically designed for heavy metal removal by itself. It would help a little bit, but you, if you want to do heavy metal removal at the same time, you need to take something like the, the cilantro, liquid cilantro that we have, or the, the BioRace, the heavy metal detox that they have, the NDF, that would work well with that at the same time. But by itself, it's, it's not designed to, for heavy metal removal. Somebody gets really tired when they do a cleanse. Um, it's usually severe and they can't do a cleanse long. Um, and they notice their blood pressure sometimes goes up. Um, any thoughts how this would differ or um, advice for somebody like that? When the, the blood pressure actually goes up during cleansing. That's that's what she says, yes. That's what she said. I'm not sure exactly on that. And that may be a, a particular thing that you need to work out with your healthcare professional. Maybe I don't want to start diagnosing what might be wrong with you necessarily. Yep. And I'm not sure what kind of cleanse you're comparing it to. At 800 calories, this is not, you know, it's not that low that it's going to just put you in bed necessarily. Well, I was thinking that, you know, a lot of the cleanses, they really are aggressive. Um, and can throw a lot of toxins in the bloodstream, which without the fiber um, to help the removal, it, it just keeps that, those, those toxins kind of in the body. Um, so this type of cleanse may be a little bit different in that because it, it helps to move the, the toxins out um, at the same time it's releasing them. But you're right, it really right. would depend on the type of cleanse. Somebody's doing the um, cancer rescue um, plan. Um, would you recommend the perfect cleanse as well? Uh, cycling through it, yes. That would that would work fine. They're doing a lot of, of fresh juice already with the cancer rescue plan there. Uh -huh. But they're probably eating they're eating more than you would during the cleanse at the same time. So it's the uh, taking cycles where you're doing uh, the fasting and then back to the regular diet. That's where you're going to get more stem cell relief. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the autophagy through a low-calorie program. And you're going to get more, more results by going by that cycling rather than just always using low-calorie programs. And if somebody's body is highly acidic, um, see any problem with somebody starting it? I don't think so. I think that would be a good place to start. <laughs> if someone is a diabetic and taking medication, I, I wouldn't recommend it in that situation. That would be a, a indication to not do the cleanse like this because your insulin, when you're fasting, it works amazingly well and you end up with very, very low blood sugar. So in a case like that, you know, you shouldn't do this with, as a diabetic. You should just use the hallelujah diet, and you'll get excellent results. And once you get your blood sugar stabilized, you get off insulin, then you can do more cleansing. But you need to do the hallelujah diet first to, to really get, to, to get things stabilized and, and normalized. So after the five days of cleansing, do you have a... Um recommendation for breaking the fast or breaking the cleanse? Uh, Plant-based diet. Nothing, you know, don't don't go and sugar out or anything. Use healthy food. So, you know, go back. Using the Howie diet is a, is a good place to start, really. Mm -hmm. um, and a couple people have asked about um, 
recipes or are the directions, and I'll just repeat what, what you shared earlier, that the uh, uh, there's an insert with the package that will give the amounts and how much, you know, goes into each drink and um, kind of gives directions through that. So um, it's with the package, and then, of course, if you have any questions, you can call customer service. Um, and there's a lot of information on the website as well that's been put together, a Q&A section and, and a lot of additional information um, that uh, may not have been presented here. Um, well, Dr. Donaldson, a lot of great information. Thanks for taking the time this evening um, and, and sharing this. Um, any, any last words before we wrap it up for this evening? I don't think so. I think if you apply, you know, what you've learned here, Try it, you'll be pleased with the results. It's simple. It's something you can share with other people that are just really struggling to be disciplined to a healthy lifestyle. This doesn't take a lot of discipline. You just plug in. It's as simple as just order it, get some avocados, and do it. It's just simple three steps. Yep. Um, and, you know, it really, it really is quite simple and, you know, since we've been working on this for a while and, and you've been putting it together, uh, you know, I've, I've been following along with it and, and it really is something simple that, to do and it's quite satisfying. Um, you know, do, doing these five drinks through the day really does, um, is satisfying and keeps you, keeps you strong and keeps you going. So, um, it is, it is easy to do. Well, Thank you, Dr. Donaldson, it for worked. joining us this evening, and um, and thank you for sharing the information. And um, thank you, everyone, for joining us. We pray that you'll um, have a, a great rest of your week, and um, look forward to seeing you next month with another topic. We'll be sending out the information here um, in the next couple of weeks, and look forward to joining us. And be sure to check out the website, perfectcleanse.com, and um, see um, see if it works for you. Until next month, uh, may God bless you. Thank you and good night. Good night.